Hello and welcome to a new episode from Zyxel Support Campus. Today I want to introduce the DX3301. It's an internet access device that can be a bridge between the VDSL connection and your ethernet connection, for example, to a firewall, but it can also be a full working internet access device with a strong AX1800 wireless. It has all functions a modern internet access device should have. Also, you can use the WX3100 access device that can mesh your wireless into the last corner of your home. Let's see what is inside the box. Zyxel offers the DX3301 in an eco-friendly box that consists mainly out of cardboard. It contains the product in a stylish white housing with the connections on the back side. You can find the power connection, phone ports, USB hub, LAN ports, wide area network port as Ethernet and XDSL. Also buttons for wireless, WPS and power. The housing offers two stand feet on the bottom side of the device. In the box you can also find the DSL cable in grey and the LAN cable in yellow, as well as the power supply with EU and UK plug face. Slide the respective plug face softly to the device and let it snap in. The connection to your internet can be done by DSL cable or you use a LAN area cable to connect to an existing box of your provider. You can complete the connections to the device and then start it up by using the power button. You can install the device in several options, here I can show you how it works. Connect the computer with a LAN cable to your device and then you can find the credentials to log in to the graphical user interface on the card on the back side of the device. Then you are requested to change the password, please note it down so that you remember it later. After that the installation wizard will start and ask you three questions about the time zone, check the internet connection and then you can change the Wi-Fi setting, SSID and password already. When in step 2 the provider data is requested, please use the letter from your provider to fill in your credentials. Also use a strong password for your Wi-Fi to protect. The system shows you how strong is your Wi-Fi password. Remember to note down all the new passwords because if you forget means you have to reset the device. If you were connected by wireless to the device, you now have to find the new Wi-Fi connection with your new name and use the password to connect to the device. On the right corner of the GUI you find three stripes that lead you through the complete menu. First you have to change the broadband access. You have two different modes which is routing or bridge. And depending on this you can change the encapsulation to PPPoE and then use the username and password that was provided from your service provider in the welcomes letter. Also you can change anything regards to the broadband access. The device has changed that in the automatic detection of your internet access before, but if you are a professional you can change it here specifically for your access to the internet. Don't forget to apply the changes before you leave the page. There are three options to change your broadband access for ADSL, VDSL or Ethernet 1. There is also a cellular backup option using the USB hub and an LTE dongle. If you open the menu on the right hand side you can find all network settings, example for wireless. Here you can set up everything about the guest wireless, MAC authentication, WPS settings and other wireless settings, especially the mesh function. You can use the WX3100 mesh access point to extend the wireless of this device to a giant wireless cell in your house. 
check out the other videos for more information. If you're having trouble with your wireless, then you can use the channel monitor to see on which channel is less density of access points. Then you can change the channel on the general settings from automatically to this specific channel so that you have a better communication with your own wireless. The optimized option to extend your wireless is using the mesh access point that is working together with the device. In the menu you can also change settings to your firewall, open specific ports or protocols and also block denial of service from the internet to your device. You can set the VoIP settings using your VoIP provider or a specific one and change the settings on each account side. If your provider has given you this device, these settings are most often set to a solid state so that you don't need to change anything on this side. In the VoIP segment you can also apply different changes for your phones, the numbers that should ring and also rules for calls and find the call history. The VoIP call history you can find numbers that you need to add to your phone book or you want to block. In the system monitor you find traffic statistics, logs and other statistics to maintain your device. In the maintenance segment you can change anything about the product and your network especially the firmware version. Please note that this software must be compatible with the letters and numbers in the rounded brackets. This software is maintained by your provider and if you need to do it manually you can upload the file which is coming from a bin package. The basic functions of the user graphical interface include also color settings, restart of the device, you can change the language to different languages, and also lock out of the device. It is important to leave the graphical user interface always by the lockout function to secure your device. For any question about the product, visit us on support.cyxel.eu. You can find more than 600 help desk documents and the contact to the support team. I also remind you to subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss any of our new episodes. You can also use the WX3100 access device to enlarge your wireless into the whole house. It's a smart mesh system that makes a big wireless so all your clients have optimized connection to your wireless. I have made a video about that, you can have a look at it here up in the info corner. We are done with our episode, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss any of our new episodes. Also, you can follow us on Facebook. For the ones that want to sell our products, please have a look at partner.cyxel.eu. You can find more information for selling prices and also support for partners. A visit is worth it. Thank you very much, have a nice day. We're Zycel, and we're your networking ally. You like to see more videos like this from Zycel? Then subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you get notified when we upload new content.